Okay, the next step you're on to is creating a website and you've done your first website, basic, two pages, basic folder structure. Then you took those skills, you went ahead and you created the review. Now I'm going to show you the next website you're going to create. It's a simple one. There's a title, some text, an image, and a link. And you've done this before. Title, some text, image, and a link. What changes is the folder structure. So when you go to the actual, so this is what you're going to create. Now I'm going to come to our class site, so technology classes. I'm going to go to ECS. Let's go to HTML. Let's go to, so you've done these. My first web page, first website, review website. Now we're going to learn folder structure. Students will understand how to write the code to create links to images and web pages stored in folders on multiple levels. Click here. Now, you're going to read through this. I just showed you what you're going to recreate. This is key, this model handout. Okay, so I'm going to click on the model handout. And what it's showing here is what you've done so far. First you did the regular, your first website. Then you did a review one. Now you're doing one with different uh, folders and files on multiple levels. I'm going to go through. You already have the code. You know basic uh, HTML coding. Here's the first code that you did for your first site. And I'm going to ref go back and talk about this in a second. In particular, your links and your, your href line and your image source line. Now this here is the basic structure that you've used so far when creating this website, your first model one, and the review one. This is the structure you followed. And you realize wherever whatever structure you have has an influence on the actual code. Now what you need to see is <coughs> when you had here San Francisco link going over to world map that's this href line right here and all it is is this page it's right next to it so all you had to do is put since it's right next to it all you had to do was put the name of the page href the name of the page and then it would link to it oh there it is but what if it's not in the same folder and it's somewhere else, one folder over, like the images were? So the images aren't next to the web pages. So for them to appear on the page, and we come over here and look at that image source line, notice how it says dot dot slash graphics. It just doesn't say Golden Gate Bridge uh, uh, dot JPEG. Instead, it had to go dot dot slash graphics. And what that means is, if I'm on the San Francisco page and I want to get this image in it, it's not next to it or else I would just be able to put image source Golden Gate Bridge JPEG. I'd be done. But it's in this folder. So I have, the path is go up one level, go over, look for a folder called graphics and then drop in again. So how does that code work? Dot dot slash means look up one level. There, I'm up one level. So I'll say it again, that dot dot slash right there, you see it? That means, hey, peek up one level. So image source says, go get me the image. Okay, now where? Dot dot slash, go up a level, I'm up one level, and look for a folder called graphics. Hmm, it's not over here. There it is, graphics. So I look inside of it. See that slash right there? Slash means look inside and look for a file called Golden Gate Bridge JPEG. Not there. There it is. I found it. You had a perfect path all the way back. And that's how it appeared on the page. Now, you're going to, I'm throwing a monkey wrench at you. Here's a different file and folder setup. Instead of it looking like this, you're going to make this exact same page. So I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible so we can focus on file and folder, not on uh, coding on the page, because you're used to doing this now twice. Uh, read the uh, 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 heading, text, image, link. Now, what I need you to focus on is if we change the file and folder structure, we're moving from this basic structure here, folder, and the graphics and documents in it, images inside of graphics, documents inside of the documents folder. Now we have main folder, which is kind of irrelevant, and then we have one folder over here called colors, and then we have, ooh, we drop an entire lower level. We have multiple layers, 
in which one now goes another row of layers or another layer of layers or folders and so we come down into this one we have the one web page there's red web page and inside the blue folder is the blue web page and over here graphics we have blue circle and we have red circle okay and I'm looking at that and it's dot gif it's dot gif looks like the extensions were turned off okay so what's the difference then well then you learned and I give you these hints right here first take a look I already explained how this worked when it's next to each other you don't have to have in the code a dot dot slash but when it wasn't in the same folder you had to have a dot dot slash that said peek up look over and look in there's the look in that little slash and then find that file so peek up look around find that folder peek in is the slash and then find that that's a perfect code on this one it's going to be for the link it'll be dot dot slash for the link from blue to red dot dot slash red folder slash red htm and vice versa for the red going to the blue you can see it just use the same code that I'm showing you explaining right here okay read this and then also take a peek on how we went up a level on this line right here but instead it's just gonna have different names okay and it will be in HTML the second one is uh oh what if we're going up two levels and I want that image because the images now aren't on the same level there it's two up the link might be one up but the image is now two up so it's going to be dot dot slash dot dot slash graphics slash and then it gives the name of the actual file in this case it will most likely be blue circle dot gif and you might have to test that but you're experienced enough because I'm not sure if the extension was turned off here when I took the this screenshot so you'll test that so hopefully that's enough info to get you up and going uh, good luck have fun